Hello, Lucha lovers. Hutch Henry's here with the infamous Jay Moore, the opening match of Lucha de los Muertos at Lee's Palace, Jay. I love it. I love this Lucha team. Yes, yeah, well, I know you also love these two teams. You're, you are fully familiar with the SSB, Super Smash Brothers. Yes. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, and they're in there against the fraternity, two guys who have a whole bunch of attitude. Whoa, there we go, yeah. look at that. That's the kind of attitude you need because there's no way the fraternity is taking a back seat to the SSBs, I'll tell you that. And look at the crowd here, packed to the rafters at Lee's Palace. And everybody's pretty excited for this opening match. This is to determine the new Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions. It's been va vacant for a while, and the SSB looks like they want to get their hands on the straps. Well, the SSB has been around a long, long time coming out of Montreal. And fraternity, a little newer than that, but what a great tag team. Very impressive. Wham, right in the corner, Channing Decker takes it. Decker coming out, eats an elbow. Backdrop there for Uno. What's going on here? Grayson looks like he's getting up on the, the corner of the turnbuckle. I can't see. <laughs> There's the gun show from Uno. And Decker is hurt. All right, looks like we got a semblance of a tag match here. A legal tag. I thought Grayson was up to the top rope, but nice helo over the top. And the SSB in firm control here. And the crowd is certainly into this action here. They love it. They love tag team wrestling at Lucha T.O. and especially Lee's Palace. We know I, that. Yeah, you and I are very familiar with Lee's Palace, a great venue for pro wrestling, and this crowd knows it. Beautiful drop kick. Channing Decker in trouble, and it's not I often that you see Channing Decker in trouble early on in a match like this. Wow. And what's with referee Matthew Grant? He's, you know, thinks he knows everything about wrestling. He's just going to let this happen? You know every single referee that ever, every time we're doing commentary, you always know the ref's name. You are backstage politicking all the time, aren't you? You know more referees' names than wrestler names. So I know what's going on. You just let that happen. Uh, you're a sneaky guy. I know that. You're probably in the pocket of every single ref around. Here we go. Stiff shot there. Close fist from Evil Uno. Not acting too evil today. He seems to be having fun with the crowd. Well, tag is made. Both participants in the ring now. And look at this. Drops a knee. You know, when you're international stars like this and you're in your hometown area, it's hard not to be a fan favorite. Everybody loves the SSB. Well, no doubt about it. But Channing Decker, he's got, he's got to make a tag out right now. He's in big, big trouble. And... In jeopardy, losing this match. Big stiff knife hand shot there from Stu Grayson. Nice lifter. Oh, what a chop that was, Hutch. And you know, the fraternity really hasn't had much going on in this match. They're Trent Gibson trying to no, he's take got a, a tag slash out. there. Yeah. <laughs> Desperate maneuvers, and you can't blame them. You know, one of the dangerous things about Lee's Palace is the metal railing and wood all around the ring and the stage there. I mean, you want to throw an opponent over the top rope, they're not going to have a very pleasant landing. No, it's so. tight in there. Yes, and you know, so this is a great way to do, so oh, do some damage to your opponent if he's not going to do it to himself. Look at that. And here comes Trent Gibson getting involved. Uh, dirty players here right to the side of the head with a boot. Oh, wow. Big release German suplex. Beautiful. And Grayson is feeling it now. Gibson tagged in. Here comes Gibson. And Come on, Raph. Both of her and he's stomping a mud hole. Oh, yeah. It's not going to take. Well, you got to turn things that. around. And this is what I love about the fraternity. Anything it has to do to get the job done. Anything they have to do. Well, this is for the Royal Canadian Tag Team Championship. Quite a coveted prize. And Lucha Tio doing amazing things here in Ontario and in Toronto specifically. Lucha in the six.com. Check it out. And these, uh, whoever wins this match, they're probably going to have a great year of competition ahead of them. And they want to start off 2017 right. Well, personally, I think fraternities are going to look great with those Royal Canadian Tag Team straps around their waist. Oh, wow. That just woke up Stu Grayson. Look at that. He's asking for more. Oh. Wow, just football driving him right into the corner. Shoulder blocks repetitive, and he's just woken up a giant here. Channing Decker's regretting that. 
Second to the other side now. Wow, that is the second time now that Grayson has uh, overshot his opponent, basically. Ran him owns himself into the corner. Gibson for goes to the cover, but kick out on the count of two. The crowd getting behind the SSB here. Look at Udo, he's just chomping at the bit to get in the ring. Like a caged animal out there. Wow, double team action, come on, Raph. Here we go, classic fraternity. Uh-oh. Wow, Gracie with a kick up, kip up and the Pele kick, double Pele kick. That is impressive stuff. That was amazing. And the SSB's tearing it up here at Lee's Palace. Stu Grayson still feeling the effects of ramming himself into the corner twice there and the beatdown from the fraternity. Makes a tag. Down goes Gibson. Down goes Decker. Evil Uno's on top of everything here. Fired all. Oh, wow, right to the gut. Putting a stop to that quick. End of days, I don't know whatever you want to call it, but it hurts like heck. Fraternity is in trouble, Hutch. Right to the mush there, Channing. Excuse me, Trent Gibson. Wow, gets a receipt there from Evil Uno. Stu Grayson, top rope. Oh, wow. huge frog splash. Uh, what's Tanahashi call that when he does it? Impressive stuff there. Well, look at this. Dropping Gibson with a form of rock bottom. And kick to the face. And look at that. Flying salt off the second rope. Unbelievable. This could be it. We almost had new tag chance. I thought that was it right there, Hutch. Wow. Come almost. on, Grayson. Get going. What are you doing? You're shocked you've been in this for a long time. You shouldn't be so surprised these fraternity guys are tough kids. Everybody knows that. Tags out to Evil Uno. Let's see what the Evil One's got. They're setting him up for something here. Gonna... Drops the elbow. Sidewalk slam elbow combo. That could be it right here. Channing Decker rolling into the ring out of nowhere, breaking that up. Oh, looks like the frat have something planned here, but Sue Grayson, if he can stop it, looks like he's gonna. In deep in the corner, another knife edge chop. He loves those chops. Looks like the fraternity loves their closed fists and legal blows for pretty much this entire match. Decker going up top. Nice drop kick right on the shoulder there. And Grayson sent right out of the ring. And running kick, Mafia style right to the face. Oh, Uno gets caught. Look at this. Well, Trent Gibson knew what he was doing. Here we go. Tornado DDT with a springboard. And Stu Grayson. Wow! Big double knee and all four men are down. That was impressive, Jay. These guys, everybody wants to get their hands on the Royal Tag Team Championships. See if we can get another look at that action. Uno is totally out of it here. We go first of all, Decker, nice drop kick, taking out Stu Grayson. Bam, with the Mafia kick from Evil Uno. Springboard DDT and Stu Grayson recovering here. Big flying double knee crushing Trent Gibson. My God, that move looked like it absolutely hurt like heck. Well, it's been an amazing match, Hutch. It's been absolutely amazing. Wow, another double Pele, but looks like the frat. They saw it coming here. Oh, wow. We got Grayson caught. Boston Crab, the both of them here. Double Boston Crab. Anything goes with this referee. Grayson crawling for the ropes here. Oh, oh, double kick right to the mush in the fraternity. They're in firm control here now. We could have new tag champs. Grayson gets dropped. Hooks the leg. That's it, Hutch. I am surprised. Two count. I'm very surprised. We should have new Royal Canadian Tag Team Champs right here, right now, Hutch. Channing Decker looking frustrated here. Come on, kid, get on top of him. You've been in firm control for the last few minutes. You could be the new tag champs if you get your stuff together here. Looks like they got something planned. Who knows what it is. Well, they're going after Grayson right now. Picking him up, setting him up for a suplex. Hush silence falling over the crowd here. Everybody knows. We could be the oh. last few moments of this match. Both these teams are trying to wear each other down. What? Gibson oh. gets caught. Decker oh. gets oh. caught. Big knee to the chest. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. That's it. Overhead, belly to belly throw. 
and it looks like the fraternity, they're in some serious trouble here. Right in the Gibson's face. Double team action. Grayson up on the top. Oh, cannonball! 450 combo, unbelievable from the SSB. Could be over here. That's it, baby. You got new Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. And look, Stu Grayson looks just as surprised as me. I thought that was it right there, Hutch. Well, you're calling for a legal tag here? Well, it's good to see somebody knows what's going on. I would have not known that. Complete chaos here for the last few minutes at least Palace. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Uno picking up Decker. Setting him up, what's this? Almost maniacal. Setting him up for the form of a maniacal oh, laugh from Uno. Gives it on the outside. Oh wow, crutches him on the ring post there. And wow, jackknife pin almost got new tag team champions here in the fraternity. Wow, jumping knee right to the mush, a la Roderick Strong. Oh, come on, ref. That's got to be illegal grabbing him by the crotch. Setting him up, Uno. Right there, Daddy. Ah! Here we go. Look at this, Hutch. Wow, just threw him down right into the foot of Channing Decker. Love it. Oh, Love jumping it. Love ace it. crusher. Come on, ref. He's got his foot on the ropes. Open your eyes. Wow, Uno with a big kick out anyways. This is one. These are two tough teams This is a here, great Jay. match. This is a hell of a great match. And I think, personally, the fraternity should be the ones that represent as champions this company. Their wrestling has been great so far this far. Thus far. Uh -huh. Well, setting him up here for something. Oh, come on, ref. Get that paddle out of the ring. Give me a break. He's got the paddle. It's not something you suggest. It's something you do. Come on now, ab abuse of the ref. Anything goes here in this match, obviously. So obviously, you've been in the pocket of this guy, probably, as well. Pocket like of this guy? Else. I'm just trying to do What's commentary. His name? Matthew Grant. You know this guy personally, I'm sure. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of authority uh -oh. in the ring. Fraternity's in trouble. Oh, come on here. Big mule kick into Uno. Goes for the cover. Oh, into Is a very it? specific area of Uno. Oh, wow. Foot, uh, Stu Grayson just football tackling through Trent Gibson and breaking up the pin. That Break was impressive. Everything up. All four men down again. Wow, Uno looks totally spent. And the fraternity, they look to be a little uh, be a little better off here than the SSB. Yeah, and a legal tag made. Wow, Bantaras over in the corner. Stu Grayson, he sees Channing Decker coming though. No, Decker sees the foot pushed oh. off. Oh! Bam! There we go. There's a receipt from earlier. Ripping Channing Decker right apart with that spear into the corner. No! Flying knees and feet everywhere. Bam! There's another one for Gibson. Oh, wow! Evil Uno, some scary stuff here. Looks like they were setting him up for this earlier. Uh oh. Whoa, pile driver. PK kick right to the head. Pile driver. That's it. Both men down on. And how can it knock you over there? Wow. Well, with two guys covering you, I guess it's hard to kick out. Well, come on, ref. Somebody's got to check on Channing De Decker here. That was absolutely brutal. Nonetheless, <laughs> Stu Grayson looks very proud of himself here, and they should be new Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions. And look at those titles. Those are beautiful, Hutch.
Lovers, Hutch Henry's here once again with the hip star, Zach Atticus. How you doing, Zach? Mm. It's electric. It is definitely electric. You must have fun doing the commentary on that Kaiju Big Battle. That was some fun stuff. Just being in that room at that time, seeing those things, I mean, this is just, it's unreal. This is unreal. In fact, Lee's Palace packed to the rafters here. That was my first ever experience with the Kaiju Big Battle. I've, uh, I've had to deal with Dr. Cube in the past in my wrestling experience, but never any of his minions, so that was pretty fun. Now, what's going on here? This is Mal de Oyo, also known as the Evil Eye in Spanish. My girlfriend says it, uh, Melocchio, but Mal de Oyo, the Evil Eye, here against El Cranio, the world's largest luchador. Yeah, but I mean, he has a past. Nobody's been able to go through him. El well, Cranio. Mal de Oyo, the leader of the Veil, also including uh, Grimbo and Barricade, who is at ringside here backing up uh, Mal de Oyo. And this match right here, El Cranio has, uh, as far as I know, defeated Mal de Oyo a few times lately. This match is to determine if uh, El Cranio will join the Veil. If he loses here, he's going to be a slave to, to Mal de Oyo. This entire crowd is just caught into it. They're all taking selfies of Cranio's shoulders and delts. And they're definitely oh, reacting yeah. to the cowardice here of Mel de Oyo. He's a spectacle. He can just make money just standing in the middle of that rig flexing. Are you talking about Cranio? Of course. Definitely an impressive specimen is definitely a word I would use, Zach. That's a good word. What the hell is Mel de Oyo doing here, playing around, trying to get under the skin? Basically oh, playing mind games with El Cranio. Oh, it's smart. Well, I don't know. Go uh, and don't, yeah, don't waste your cardio right away. I well, mean, smart is one thing some people wouldn't say about El Cranio, but I've spoken with the man backstage. He's extremely intelligent, extremely savvy. I think this whole uh, persona really throws people off. It does. Yeah. And yeah, and he's a lot more savvy uh, than you would expect. And certainly has power, uh, power there, as you do expect. He expected that as well, but I mean, you with having Barricade in the corner, uh, you know, uh, some mind games are going to go through. You, they got a game plan. Well, Mal de Oyo, definitely the brains of the veil, but I wouldn't take him lightly. He's oh, a they physical... like each other. They're hugging. <laughs> He's a physical athlete, and he'll take you out if you're not careful. He's devious, cunning, and extremely deadly. Oh, he's planning something. Like, come on, you just take your time. You set the pace, all right? Keep it together, man. Keep it together. El Cranio just uh, kind of chilling out there in the corner, taking a load off. Be slow, methodical, getting into the ring. Cranio's just gotta like stand there and control the middle. That's fine. Well, Mal de Oyo, I wouldn't exactly consider him a, a high flyer or a cruiser weight or anything like that. But I think the key to victory in this match is going to be speed, keeping him off your toes. Use use what you have. And I think the only advantage he has here, besides his brains, is his speed. Yeah. And then use the ropes and your agility. Of course. I'm trying to get some leverage here, but looks like he might be in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pancake there got himself in that situation, so. I thought of five different ways to, to use that to your advantage. I don't think he used it very well. El Cranio, one of the many, many luchadors being brought up here by Lucha Tio, or Lucha in the Six. You can check it out at luchainthesix.com. But I mean, over the last year, they've had Pentagon Jr., of course, the Blue Demon, Vampiro, uh, Lince Dorado, a local guy here, also down in Mexico all the time, coming up through here. They've had just about everybody you can think of uh, come through here lately. Kefka the Quiet, one of my favorites. Look, look at the, the talent. The main event tonight is just going to be absolutely phenomenal. I, 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 I can't wait. Certainly looking forward to that. Seven Deadly Sins scramble match. Seven guys, well, six guys, all gunning for Carter Mason and his premier championship. I don't know if this is going to work out for Mal de Oyo with a, a test of strength here. Give me a break. What I like about this this entire show, this entire roster, is everybody's fighting to be recognized. They want that goal. They want to be number one, and it's great. Everybody's doing it. it it's like freestyle night. A lot of the best luchadors from all over Canada, the United States, and of course Mexico, traveling here to Toronto for Lucha T.O. And the last year or two that these guys have been around, it has been extremely impressive. Some great competition, and uh, that's what we're going to see right here, hopefully, oh, if this match ever gets going. Uh, I think we would have guessed that. Oh, but, oh, look at this. Uh, I spoke too soon. I thought the test of strength would have been a bad idea, but I mean. Well, he certainly got El Cranio all tied up, but Cranio doesn't look to be sweating it too much. Some beautiful chain techniques, though. 
Well, when you got Despite, arms that big, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be feeling any pain from this overhand wrist lock. I wouldn't even call it overhand. I mean, Mel De Hoyo is so much shorter. Can he yeah. get the proper leverage? And of course, the power. Uh, maybe he should have wrenched it a little more counterclockwise. But and now wow. you're you're caught up in a, in a spider web, man. Look at the power into the corner here. Oh, and up. Oh, ouchies. Oh, like a rag doll. Hey, don't get caught up in that, man. That's a dangerous spot. Can't do it. Wow. The power moves are definitely the forte of El Crano. That's uh, what brought him to the game, and it's what's got him a lot of victories. Mel De Hoyo, if I was him, I'd start running around the ring, get outside, get your composure, and try and keep this guy, like, get him down, get him off his toes, run him, run him in circles. No, squ squeal underneath the legs. Smart. Get out of there. Well, smart to get out of there, that's for sure. But so far, it's just been head-on confrontation here. He's been going basically right at El Cranio, straight on, and it hasn't been working for him. Yeah, get the barricade in there. Yeah, distraction. There we uh, go. Like and we all see what's happening here. Mel de Hoyo sneaking up behind El Cranio. Right for the knees, of course. Uh, Cranio and Barricade have a bit of a history here. There's no love lost between them, but I expect a little more intelligence out of a veteran like El Cranio. That's smart. That's smart. You know, even those power moves took some, uh, some, uh, some. It takes the stamina out of you. I know you got like out of Cranio, right? So then that's smart. You let him bounce you around for a bit, and they'll take him out from the knees. Oh. So Rocky Balboa style, rope a dope. Let him use a lot of his energy, press slam you, throw you around, and then when he least expect it, take out the leg and work him. Is that what you're saying? I've never seen those movies. Never seen those movies. Sorry, I don't believe in mainstream media. But look at this. Look at this. The leg work. Yeah, I like it. See. You, Work him down. I mean, yeah. well, this is definitely what he's going to have all to do night. if he wants to get a victory over El Cranio. Keep him down. I don't know if you're going to get a submission, but if you can keep the man off his feet, you're one step closer to victory. That's for sure. You can't pin a guy when he's standing up. Maybe uh, would have helped to work out the legs a little more equally there, Hutch. I'm not sure. You know, There's the power. Take him out of El Cranio. A single blow, releasing the entire submission move. But upper body. Power. Malde Oyo using those kicks. Wow, impressive stuff. Whoa, big jumping in Seguri, back of the head. Brain buster, as they would say back in the Bad News Brown days. But a kick out with the upper body, but you know, uh, a kick to the neck, you know, maybe that'll wake him up. You should probably be giving I know, uh, Antonio Inoki some credit there for the back brain kick instead of that. Yeah, of course. Now, whatever you want to call him. Is he biting him? Jeez, ref, come on. I don't know if he's got some knee pads in there or what he was biting through, but uh, that's always effective. And Mal de Hoyo beaten down on the knee, but having to spread his entire body across the chest of El Cranio just to keep his shoulders down. This guy is massive. The it's moniker smart. of the world's largest luchador is certainly not lost on him. So hit every part of his body. Knock it all down. Make it ache in the morning. Well, he's certainly been working on those legs. Going Don't back and forth from up. one knee to Don't the get other. Caught up with the fans. Can't do it. Oh. And then take out the ankles. The toe. Well, I thought maybe he was going for a figure four, but it looks like a spinning toe hold here. Very uh, painful submission move. Twisting the, the ankle, pulling on the toes, and of course, wrenching the knee. Three different areas of, of uh, pain in this kind of move. The worst feeling. I hate it. Another twist again. The man with uh, with previous ankle problems. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get caught up in that. I hate it. Once again, I wouldn't call it a blow, but once again, a single movement from Cranio is enough to send Malde Oyo all the way across oh, the ring. Can... Choke slam here, perhaps. It all slips out. Wow, another one, but looks like El Cranio might have just much. barely grazed him there. And now Malde Oyo paying for it. Oh no, not oh, that. Wow. Power. Really paying for a big power bomb. Could be over here. One. Danger. Two. Oh, come on. Good. That's going to be an automatic disqualification there, barricade interfering in this match. There's a lot on the line here. If El Cranio loses, he becomes a slave to Malde Oyo and a member of the Vale, something that I'm sure he's not too into. Yeah, it pays off to have friends. It's great to have a friend like Barricade. Is the referee? I think he's kicking Barricade out of here. Good job, son. Get him out of here. I think that's Matthew Grant. Oh, oh. Friends. Smart. That's a medieval warrior. Where did he come from? That guy looks bizarre. Looks I, like I, I've hit, never seen him before. Well, he hit El Cragno in the back of the head with a chain, Whoa. and it's all over here. Yes. Now they all go.
Victoria's over El Cano, and Cano now a member of the Vale. The medieval warrior probably just joined the Vale. They've gotten two brand new members here at Lucha de los Muertos here at Lee's Palace. There's the medieval warrior. Barricade also seems very pleased with himself. Now along with the masked Grimbo and of course El Cranio, the veil more powerful than ever. Lucha in the six, watch out. Mel de Hoyo is coming, probably coming for the gold if he's got his druthers. I love it. I've always said friends stronger than power. Well, we've already crowned brand new Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions with uh, a five-man stable here. The Veil could be going for those straps soon. And Mal de Hoyo, look what he's gonna use, that same chain that knocked out El Cranio. They're probably gonna use it to chain him up, drag him out of the ring here. I don't even oh, know yeah. if he's conscious. Look, they're having to drag him to his feet. Leave a lasting effect, of course. Well, I don't think I've ever seen El Cranio taken out like this, a chain blow to the back of the head. And he's gonna wake up in the back and realize he's the newest member of the Veil. All right, folks, welcome back to Lee's Palace Lucha in the Six, and it's Minnie's action, Zach. I've been looking forward to this. This is this is great. The, these guys are just absolutely ch charismatic. The entire crowd loves them. Well, there's our official bell. This is going to be great. Pepper Jack, he's a, he's a real spitfire, let me tell you that much. And uh, making the referee check, Kid Canuck there before the bell started. I guess he thinks he was uh, squirreling away a foreign object or something in his tights, but... This is going to be some some fun action here. But that's the thing. These guys are as athletic, dare I say, even more than some of the guys in the back. These these, these guys are entertainers, They're just pure athletes. Well, some people don't realize that the minis actually have a... Uh, it's, it's a tough, tough division to be in. Wow, look at the power of Kid Canuck. Upper body strength. Oh, <laughs> get those pins in. Yeah, oh, oh. A little bias from the ref there. <laughs> Pepper Jack, not too happy with the actions of the referee there, Zach. Of course, you can throw another opponent onto a guy that's biased referee. Chop that guy, yeah, smart, love Rick it. Flair style chops in the corner and wham! Putting all of his body weight, however diminutive he is behind that blow. Big splash in the corner. Where did he train? <laughs> Pepper Jack definitely not pleased here with our referee, Matthew Grant. A little kerfuffled here, but uh, hopefully he can come out with the win if he gets his composure together. That's smart, Pepper Jack. Get your voice in. Well, Pepper Jack a little Don't smaller than crap. Kid Canuck. I was saying earlier that uh, this is a tough division to be in the minis division. I mean, we've got heavyweights, cruiserweights, we've got different weight divisions in UFC, boxing, and in wrestling. But in the minis division, I mean, your weight, your size doesn't really matter. As soon as you're defined as a mini, then uh, that's it. Uh, in this case, Pepper Jack, his opponent outweighs him by quite a bit here. Yeah, that, that's why I like him, though. Pepper Jack's smart. Oh, uh, not in that case. Uh, a very apropos name for Pepper Jack. He certainly is a pepper. But Kid Canuck up to the top ropes here, and the crowd firmly behind him. Oh, yeah. Wow. There you go. Love it. And big line, my man, Pe Pepper Jack. That's good. Still giving crap to the referee and now going up to the top rope himself. And Kid Canuck is a long, long ways away when you got short legs like that. Oh, big man. Boot. Speaking of All which, right. ran right into one of those legs. Hey. See what I mean? Catching the crossbody, and that's because Canuck has so much more power than Pepper Jack. It's almost like he's in there with a giant. Squirm out. Good. Oh, wow. Forearm right across the face there. Can't beat the athleticism, though. Come on, PJ. Get up. Uh, kind of, he's got a uh, Fireman's carry right here, there. center of the ring. What's going on? Oh, wow. Airplane spin, I thought, but no. Dropped him down into a TKO style stunner right onto the shoulder. Wow, and it's over for Pepper Jack. Kid Canuck using his size. <laughs> 
tough to say that, but using his size and strength to overpower his smaller opponent and win our minis match here today at Lee's Palace. Nice. Again, picking the wrong guy. That kid Canuck, that's impressive, man. Like, he threw him around. He's got a little bit of everything in that ring. Oh, these guys are awesome. This was almost as much fun as that Kaiju big battle we had earlier. Uh, you had tons of fun there commentating on that match, and geez, what's going on here? It's hard to keep up, that's the thing. And the crowd fully behind Kid Canuck in our minis match. Stay tuned here. We're going to be back with some more action from Lucha de los Muertos here at Lee's Palace. I guess what? it was biased all from the start. Oh, man. Oh, I know whose music that is. Uh, uh, there he is. The man who likes to be called the White Devil, Bill Scullion, the bloody one himself, one of the most destructive, violent, and most hardcore athletes on the Ontario wrestling scene. Interrupting your Let's match. See if we can get another camera angle up here. Is that, a, is that a pig's head? There we go. A pig's head here that he's carrying. That, 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 that's disgusting. That, that, that's. It is disgusting. That is so unethical. Well, what's he uh, doing here? Kid Canuck looks confused. I'm confused. I think everybody's confused except for Bill. There we go. Maybe we're going to find out exactly what this is all about. You got a man with salmonella poisoning. It's gross. Can't trust him. I don't know if I would agitate Bill Skellion if I was in the crowd. He'll come out after the match and surprise you. Tap on the shoulder, turn around, get a head. I'm going to keep this nice. It's short. Uh, get it? Oh, I get it. I said it was coming Is he out here just to make fun of Kid Kanak? To kick the shit. Out of one of these little flippy floppy fucking lucha dicks. <laughs> Open up and find out. <laughs> like I said, I was coming here and fuck someone up, and then this little fucking weird dude in the back came up to me and offered me a stack of cash to come out and fuck up your shit. That's right! Oh, God. Is this the little weirdo he's talking about? Because that's an apropos description for Mysterion, the mind reader. To those of you who don't know who I am... Here we go. I am the wizard! I am Mysterion, and I'm here for one reason, and one reason only, and that's to kill one double-headed bird with one stone. I want him, that thing, less than a man, in my museum of curiosities. Jeez, that's fairly insane. Because that's where you belong, a freak show! That's a bit discriminatory, if you ask me. I don't really appreciate it. Come on, Mr. Yannis. 2016. Haven't you seen the internet? That kind of language is not appropriate in the modern age. Yeah. Yeah. Scullion getting in the ring. We're going to match here. Scullion against Kid Kanaka. Are you serious? And he's taking it. Uh, that's not too smart. Get the hell out of there, man. Well, a far cry from his last matchup. This opponent is three times the size of him. And Scullion ripping that chain out of his forehead, his forte. How many times has he pinned a chain to his forehead and ripped it out? Hundreds? Thousands? Revolting. As much as the crowd is behind Kid Canuck, I'm not giving him, uh, giving him much of a chance here against bloody Bill Scullion. Well, that's a little biased touch. I mean, he's, he's smart. I've seen men bigger than Bill Scullion in the ring with him, crying like little babies. This guy is a destructive human being. I mean, he'll, there's so much hate and malice in this guy. He's certainly going to take it out on Kid Canuck, I'm sure. And yet you doubted the veil, and look what happened. Could you just be smart. Roll around. Take him out at the knees. Bloody Bill, he's a little slower. He's older, right? Well, it kind of did work for Maldeoyo. 
Maybe uh, Kid Canuck, maybe he can pick up that chain that Scullion ripped out of his head, hit him in the back of the head with it, do the same thing as Mal Oil, come out with a victory. Scullion not too pleased. That is one thing Scullion does not have, is speed. You get within arm's length, though. Yeah, Again, drop kick to the knees, just that's all you need to do. Take him out. Wow, right to the mush. Not a lot of weight behind those blows. I mean, Scullion, he's taking chair shots to the head. He's gone through tables. Used to run the old Stranglehold promotion that used to uh, run right out of Lee's Palace in this very location. Some of the most violent wrestling matches I've ever seen in my life happened at that promotion. So I don't know if Kid Canuck running off the ropes and kicking him in the face is going to do too much. It's a good time for Bill Scullion. That's a Friday night kicking people in the face. <laughs> This man lives dangerously. You don't want to get caught in the middle of the ring with him right now. He's just going to beat you up. That's, that's terrible. Just like you said, stranglehold, a scary place to be. Scary, man. Shot to the gut. And in the middle of the ring right now, I mean, he comes out and rips a chain out of his forehead. This is the kind of guy you're dealing with. Uh, He's also the kind of guy who doesn't seem to have any problem with beating up a little person. Tearing his shirt off here. That's a bit insulting. Those gimmicks are expensive. You can't do that. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Spoken like a true worker, worried about your gimmicks, worried about your gear. Exposed flesh on flesh, forearms to the back. And uh, that's gonna take him down. Oh, big, uh, big, huge bald guy with a beard and a goatee in the ring with a small guy with no shirt on. I'm getting some Survivor Series flashbacks here of Goldberg and his son in the ring. This is what this is reminding me of. Good one, Hush. Aye, the back rake. Well, obviously premeditated tearing just, off the gear of Kid Canuck so he could rake the back. Just take him out. Now he's just embarrassing. And then how does that work? He He's just under the wizard. He's under Mysterion's Well, obviously Mysterion custody? is like, paying him. We saw him hand him an envelope. He wants the, he literally says he wants this guy's carcass in his Museum of Oddities, which I have seen a very uh, interesting room and section of Mysterion's mansion, this Museum of Oddities he has. But I don't know if it's legal. Shot. What's he going to do, stuff and mount Kid Canuck? I'm not sure if that's legal. That would be murder, technically. Uh, hold on. High-risk maneuver. And okay, nice one. I'm sure Bill Scullion would have no problem murdering a human being, no matter what their size is, but... True. That That's a dangerous spot to do a suicide dive, so I'm glad he didn't really go for it. That's uh, not a lot, not a lot of here? space there, man. Going up to the... Scullion saying, no way. Look, showing him the chair, saying, hey, you want to jump into this chair? I'll waffle you with it. Sorry about our camera quality here, folks. Very dark in Lee's Palace. Scullion putting, yeah, I don't putting know. the Bloody chair Bill down. Can get away with this, but in, in all fairness, and what are you going to say to him? Bill put that chair down? There's no way. Oh, come on. Kid Canuck saw Bill put the chair down, went after him, but he just choked him down on the ring ropes, grabbed him by the back of the head, and all of his ample body weight pulling Kid Canuck straight down across the second rope and choking him out. Look, he's still feeling well, the effects. That's the experience. He's letting, he's letting his opponent come to him. He doesn't need to go anywhere. I wonder what evil nonsense Mysterion is whispering in the ear of Bill Scullion. That chair is now in the ring. Scullion slid that in. I'm sure that's going to come into play if he has his way. Wow, big close-handed fist. Left hand, too. What? Oh, he's got something in his hand. What is that, a fork or a knife or something? Oh, no. I hope, I hope they cleaned him properly. Who could? Who knows? Dirty forks. Uh, you don't want those to the head. Oh, that's gross. It's terrible. Kid Canuck luckily has a mask on. It looks like you don't think a fork could break through the mask. Come on, that hurts. Well, I mean, if it's gonna, if anything is gonna help, having another layer there. I'm not saying he's not gonna start bleeding, but if somebody was jabbing me in the head with a fork, I wouldn't mind having a mask on. I'd help out. Hello, I can't really see what's happening here. Our lack of camera angles for this match. I'm sorry, folks, but looks like he's he's either tearing the mask open with the fork or I don't know what he's doing, but stomping on the back of the head. This is absolutely vicious. I'm almost glad we don't have a close-up shot of this. That's his identity, and he, he, he's completely destructing it right now. It, that's terrible. That's disrespectful. Well, I'm not sure. This is a Lucha League, so it might be an automatic, automatic disqualification for tearing the mask off of an opponent. I don't know if this match is under Lucha rules. 
don't think any of this is Lucha Rules. I'm not Come even on. sure if this is an official match, although we do it's have a referee in there. It's Bill Rules right now. This is what we're dealing with. Well, Lucha Tio brings you all kinds of style. Hardcore, old school, Lucha Libre, high flying. They bring it to you all. We've got Death Proof Fight Club coming up later. One of the most current, most hardcore uh, leagues in all of Ontario. The championship on the line. And geez, Bill Scullion would fit right in there. What's going on here? Dragon Sleeper? Or? Choke the life out of him. Well, with a loss of blood and now this. Oh, flipping him over. Agility, yeah. Looks like he's got him in a uh, sleeper hold, choke position, near naked choke. I can't really see, but Bill Scullion flailing his arms around, certainly not enjoying it. Drives him into the corner, but Canuck is so diminutive and small, he's basically just sitting on the top rope. I don't know if Scullion realizes he probably didn't even hurt him that much. Bloody Bill's been lightheaded before. He can deal with this in any sort of conditions of the ring. Wow! You can catch cross bodies. Oh well, we yeah, a little no bit problem. of uh, a little bit of your own medicine. Kid Canuck catching Pepper Jack earlier on, and now. Oh, yeah. Ow. That's surprising. I thought he had him there. Black hole slam getting him nowhere. Two count of Mysterion not too pleased. He's looking to add the newest piece to his collection. Bloody Bill's even a little more sluggish, so you know that Kid Canuck it was a fair match, and you doubted him in the beginning. Oh. I don't know what to say, man. You're in there against Bill Scully, and even a fully grown man would have trouble with this guy. And the crowd finally getting into it. They were a little bit, I think they were shocked, a little bit silent at first that this match was happening, just like uh, just like me, and I would assume you, Zach. I, okay, all right. Well, you uh, no, no, fully the supporting this. You've got a 300 pound man beating on a little guy with a chair, and I haven't heard you say anything other than, like, whoa, you know, you were, like, you don't seem to be all that upset about this. This is disgusting. Now we got the chair in there. Yeah, you're right. Now I'm a little concerned. Uh, it, was, it was fun for the beginning, but I mean, and what's what he is got this? now? Oh, please don't. Oh, it's tax. It's tax. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, this is something we're used to seeing from Bill Scullion. Oh no, the owner of the ring, it's gonna ruin the canvas. Oh, you can't do that, that's expensive. Don't, please. Kid Canuck without his t-shirt. So if he takes any kind of maneuvers here on the tax, that's definitely going to hurt him and probably gonna scar him up real good. He didn't match him again with a t-shirt. Disrespectful. To call it a t-shirt? Oh, I'm sorry. Gimmicks are expensive. Well, I don't know if you should call it oh. gimmicks. It's his oh, wow. And he's what? A kick out from Kid Canuck after a sit down powerbomb onto a pile of tax. Take the pain. From a man three, four times your size. Absolutely unreal. I'd like to see a replay of that, but I know we don't have any other camera angles, but uh, I don't know, probably turn my stomach. So I think we'll just stick with the action here. But Bill Scullion slow to his feet. Look, kneeling down on tax himself. Doesn't care. Just sitting in. Doesn't him. care. I'm not even sure if this man feels pain. Kid Canuck. I, I gotta say, I gotta buy his t-shirt, man. He's impressive. Well, he's got a couple of tacks. How did he do that? Stuck in his back, I can see from here. Giving him shots, and he, he wants more. The, 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 what the hell? Skull, you're just looking at him like, are you insane? What are you trying to do, buddy? Oh, he's grabbed the envelope out of his pocket. Looks like Kid Canuck's gonna get a payday here, even if he loses the match. Just run away with the cash. You got thumbs in your back, you know? Kill yourself now. <laughs> Thumb tacks in his back. Thumbs in his back, thumbs in his bum. This isn't a Ju <laughs> Jushin Liger match. Uh, good one. Got me. Well, if I was Bill Scully and I'd stop this guy from tearing open my payday and checking out what's in there. And if I was the kid, take the money and run. Oh, uh, I see. Mysterion has tried to play a trick here on Bill Scully and pulled the wool over his eyes, paid him with Monopoly money. That's why it was in an envelope. That's a bit cheap. Now Mysterion begging off here. He spent all that money on his outfit. Please, he claims to spend all the money on his outfit. It's cheap garbage, believe me. He puts all his money into his uh, Museum of Oddities, so I can't believe that he is after Kid Canuck, but I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to try and fool a guy like Bill Scully, and he's going to take it to heart, and he's not going to forgive you. Whoa, big spear! Oh, right down onto the tax! That Scullion out there. I'm sure that would have been embarrassing. Yeah, he just took him down with a spear. 
Kid Canuck, he's got power, and, and he, he can fly around the top rope. And now with the submission, cross this face kid. maneuver here. I know Bill Scullion's got a lot of scar tissue. I know he's not all that flexible. That's gotta be painful for Bill, pulling back on the neck. What's Mysterio on here? Look oh, at that! Out. Years of neck issues and concussions. Mysterio years in the ring. In time, of course not. A move like that will certainly take it out of you. And Kid Canuck with a very surprising victory over the massive Bill Scullion. Chokes him out on the tag. Here is the winner, Kid! Get me more on this Kid Canuck. This kid was amazing. Oh, he certainly is tough. Come on, Kid Canuck, take a swipe at Mysterio and he deserves it. Mysterion trying to apologize to Bill, or I don't know what's going on here. That is just impressive. We doubted Kid Canuck the entire match, too. And well, I'm certainly, sorry for that. I am very surprised, and the crowd certainly giving him that adulation he deserves. Deserves all the respect, Hutch. Get his contact info and get him on my podcast tonight on Tonight on Hipstar Tonight. Wait, you don't think you can do that yourself? Uh, I gotta do all your work for you? Yeah, I, I need a producer. Thanks. I'm surprised Mysterion hasn't got punched out yet, but... Uh, Looks like Mysterion pulled out some real money there. Tried to pay off Bill Scullion, but he's not having any of it. Wham! Take it out, Mysterion. I don't know what that was in his hand, a fork or something, but we right saw to the mush. Uh-oh. Uh Mysterion's suit in the tax. Uh, this, is, this is not good. Oh, yeah. Mysterion does not want to take that. Wham! Big body slam right onto the tax. What's going on here? Kid Canuck, top rope. Scullion and Canuck working together here. Ah, tadpole splash off the top rope. Wow. All right. This is absolutely crazy, and the crowd seems to be loving it, too. Hutch Henry's here with the hip star, Zach Atticus, and we'll see yeah. you for our next match, folks. Folks, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, Hutch Henry's here still with the hip star Zach Atticus. Death proof. Death F proof. Yeah. Death proof. Fuck yeah. Oh, Off the far side. Did you see that? Well, I mean, Bill Scullion was out here swearing a blue streak before. Give me a break. And you think any of the death proof fans are going to care if we swear? Fuck that. Although I got to admit, as a professional commentator for a living, it's not often I get to swear That's while true. I'm commentating on a match. It almost feels odd. Oh, oh wow. A danger match. <laughs> Green Phantom here looking to get his hands on the Death Proof Fight Club Championship. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that looked like it really hurt. Are you kidding? Green Phantom took it right away. Still a spitting DDT right onto the trash can, but it looked like the, the bottom of the lip there flipped up and hit uh, a Warhead right in the stomach of the ribs there. Oh, I think yeah. he's seriously winded. He's nursing it. He's hurt right now, man. You could tell. Yank it wasn't back. wasn't expecting that. Fujiwara armbar and Green Phantom came right out of the gates and has been in control for, it's only been about a minute and a half here. And Warhead looks like he's out on his feet. We could have a new Death Proof Fight Club champion right here at Lee's Palace. Lucha de los Muertos, championship showcase match here. Death Proof championship. Oh. You, you, December 4th, you go into a very Death Proof Christmas as a champion to surprise everybody. Of course the Booker's the champion right now. Be amazing. Well, it certainly would be a surprise. Death uh, Warhead has not been champ for very long, and I don't think he wants to release that title uh, already. I mean, yeah. though, this would be his first defense, I think. He's been champ on and off. Come on, Green Phantom ne ne has never had the title. Never? Never, never. Well, I'm not exactly up on my death proof. I know Green Phantom has certainly been billed there many times in the past. I'm sure he's dying to get his hands on the de death proof championship. Oh. Dig it in. The crowd loves these matches. They got their cult followings, man. It's fun. Well, Lucha T.O., Lucha in the Six, been teaming up with Death Proof Fight Club. Uh, Lucha Proof is the brand that they promote together, but also now turning into a triad. They're going to be working with Hogtown Pro Wrestling. All kinds of great wrestling action here in Toronto and in Ontario. And the Death Proof Fight Club is certainly one of the most hardcore and very, very violent leagues in Ontario. If you're looking for a, you're looking for a bloody good time, this is the place to be. Warhead finally got a takeover there. The classic uh, middle turnbuckle. Where did all these weapons come from? 
the garbage can. Yeah, I know on their way in, both of these guys were throwing stuff into the ring. You know, this is a, this is a Lucha T.O. event. If this goes to a, a time limit draw, are they going to do karaoke? I mean, uh, that's, that's what the rules. That's death what happens at Death Proof anytime there's a time limit draw, but this is not a Death Proof event. I mean, you get a choice between five more minutes or carry -out. Oh, really? Yes. You're not the forced to do karaoke. No, the crowd has the choice. Oh, the crowd. So you can be forced to do karaoke. But yeah, they the always choose karaoke. Chooses. Yeah, that's the thing. Nobody ever goes five more minutes? No, not really, no. Oh, with the, the bloodlust of the Death Proof fans, I would have thought they'd want to see more action. They're an eccentric bunch. They certainly are. Speaking of eccentric, check it out. Are we going to have a single actual wrestling move in this match? Who knows? Bam, close fist shot. What's he going to do here? Green Phantom's a heavy boy. You don't want to be doing that. Well, it looks like that rib injury that I thought uh, yeah, oh yeah. I it's thought weakened. Warhead might have sustained. Seems to have brushed it off. Uh, wow. Pump handle slam right through the chair. How are those ribs now? Wow. He still kicks out. Yeah, those ribs are hurting, though. Uh, almost a new death proof champion here at least palace i don't know what it is with warhead though he's been doing it for so long he just loves pain it's kind of it's very odd it's well strange. he's certainly in the right business if he likes pain now, look getting our cameraman to hand him a chair that's pretty innovative i guess when you're as intimidating as the green phantom though you're like hey pass me that chair and cameraman's gonna be like you got it sir don't hurt me Plus, the fans love Green Phantom. What's going on here? Back body drop, perhaps. Oh, wow, crotching him right on that steel chair. Hey, yeah, they're sucking wind now and something else. Oh, uh, well, hey. Warhead not even moving there, almost shocked with the amount of pain that he's feeling. Oh, oh what's this? What? What? Yeah, take out the rib, that's it. It's got to be over here. Pretty nonchalant oh. cover there. That nope. might have cost him the title. Oh, yeah, 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 no, but for the fans, that's the mentality I tried to spread. That's the thing about Green Phantom. Let's quickly just FTF. take another look at what happened there. <laughs> look at this, suplex twisting. Bam, Ouch. unbelievable. Ouchie. Surprised we don't have a new champ here. <coughs> now back to the action, and Green Phantom has set up a, a crutch here in the corner. Oh, wow. And again, another Go ball next. shot. Again. Oh, yeah, work it. Well, that's one thing that Warhead won't be doing anymore is working it. No kids for him. Probably not even uh, probably not even a good time, if you know what I mean. I think Warhead's been very open with how odd Warhead babies would be. So uh, uh, maybe Green Phantom's doing him a favor. I'm not sure. What? what? <laughs> Green Phantom, all right. Telling the I referee like to get on his knees. Sam Show, our referee, a little too obliging there. I don't know, if somebody yells at me to get down on my knees, I'm like, uh, I'm going to inquire as to why. Yeah, yeah, he was a little, little willing on it, right? Well, there we go, baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. It's amazing a guy can pull this out from underneath the ring at a death proof match, and we're not even surprised. It takes us a few minutes to get commentate on it. That. Wait. Swing and a miss a second time. Whoa, big spinning heel kick. But on those ribs again. Well, I don't know what it is. Warhead certainly disoriented. He's hurting in some fashion. I don't know if it's his knee, his back, or that rib or, or injury from earlier, but he is certainly sluggish in the ring. But been smart. <laughs> Work the pelvis and the ribs. He's taking them out. He's hurting. Dead media death match. A death proof favorite taking old forms of media and destroying them on your opponents. VCRs. Records, all kinds of stuff. Probably get a cassette deck in there one day. I've never seen it, but wouldn't be surprised. The price of the records is going up. Wow. Oh, it's Double shot there, and the Phantom feeling it. And now there's shards of record everywhere. That cannot be healthy. Wow. Uh, I think you might be right, Zach. It might be a rib injury. Uh, Warhead having a lot of trouble picking up his opponent there. I think he was but trying to crotch I think him. They just knocked heads on. The, the baseball That's bat. That's what I was about to say. Did. I think he was trying to crotch him on that crutch over there and ended up switching to a back body drop. They both went, the back of their heads both smashed into that baseball bat, covered in barbed wire of all things. Well, that's a classic life lesson. You don't clean up your space. There we go. Finally getting him crotched the way he wanted. Just throwing him like a rag doll. Hurt yourself on everything in this ring. It's such a danger zone right now. Well, this is where Warhead gets the advantage. Green Phantom obviously starting to get a bit winded, his stamina waning. But when you love pain the way Warhead does, the longer this match goes. He's got a big spiky fist. He's got a big spiky fist. Another 10, 15 minutes of this, no. Warhead's going to be right at home. To the ass. Not a spiky fist to the ass. What? 
Come on. It's over here. The spiky fist to the ass almost had Warhead retaining his championship. That was close. A little controversial decision on the ref there. I don't know what he was doing. Well, I think Warhead Phantom. needs to take a few more serious, seriously high impact moves. His entire body needs to be racked with pain from top to bottom before he really yeah. feels comfortable in the ring. Uh -huh. So he's only halfway there right now. Oh, what was that? Wow! Just driving his face right down into the side of that steel chair. On the jaw, yeah. I gotta admit, there's been some extremely innovative offense here, and mostly from Green Phantom in this match. Oh, he took it right away. What's Get he what gonna you do? want. It's gonna Get set him up again man. for another one of those twisting uh, uh, suplexes. No, power bomb, oh, perhaps. Man. Warhead grounding himself. Now fighting back. Fireman's carry position could be a DVD right through the chairs! And again, takes out Warhead. Takes some of the move as well. And oh, a kick wow. out. Of course. Unbelievable. Geez. Of course they want more. This is, this, this, uh. this is destruction at its finest. If you could distill and bottle this and sell it, you'd be making a million bucks, folks. Let me tell you, this is the kind of violence that hardcore wrestling fans uh, absolutely crave. And we got it for you here at Lee's Palace. Lucha de los Muertos, Death Proof Fight Club Championship. It's Warhead against Green Phantom. And look at the carnage in the ring, Zach. How many Epsom salt baths, baths do you need to take <laughs> after a match like this? I don't know. It depends how much you drinking you do after the match, too. It's temporary. Relief. Yeah, well, still, Epsom salts will suck those toxins out of your body, Zach. Yes. Up Long in the corner is... here. Speaking oh, no, of no, sucking no, no. something out of your body, looks like Green Phantom is going to suck the life. The Phantom Bomb. And this is... oh, right onto a stack of chairs. New champ. What? What? Wow, Warhead. Wow. He might have just reached that point I was talking about earlier where his entire body is now racked in pain. So this is the beginning of the match for Warhead. He's just getting started here. <laughs> classic. Big phantom elbow. Classic green phantom there. We got a pile of chairs, he's... some broken records, probably some leftover tacks in there, and a crutch. And a crutch. And he still kicks out. Hey, yikes. Yikes. What's going on here? In behind, slipping the slam. Whoa, rear naked choke. A Warhead special here. And look, he's elbowing him in those ribs, those injured ribs from earlier. Wham, big shot to the side of the head. Catch him on the ropes. It's even hard to run the ropes in a ring like this. What's this? Terrible. Oh, 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 oh. A VCR! Smashing him in the head with that VCR, and now he's got that rear naked on again. Great find, and it's all over! Oh. The Warhead special. A submission from Montreal's Green Phantom. I did not expect that, Zach. Warhead's been known for that choke for years, man. He's finished many legends off with that. All right, well, I am packed to the brim with violence. Let's get out of here. We'll see you later on for some more Lucha in the Six. Thanks, folks. Congratulations to Warhead. Right, Hutch Henry's here, it's main event time, and I am once again joined by the infamous Jay Moore. 
And there you're looking at him, the premier champion, Carter Mason. The longest reigning premier champion in history. Also the Northland Wrestling King of the North champions. He's sporting that belt here in the ring today. But there it is, folks, the premier championship and the seven deadly sins scramble match. Looks like the champ is going to be uh, going to have to be on his toes here today. If he and wants my to favorite the belt. wrestler in this whole ring, even though you got in Freddie Mercurio, you got Space Monkey, you got Von Vertigo. That's your favorite wrestler, isn't it? Yeah, Carter Mason. You're talking about your guys, the gift. Here we go, yeah. The, Jason Kincaid, the gift. Von Vertigo, Space Monkey, Amasis, the Funky Pharaoh. This is going to be totally insane. And my favorite, Freddie Mercurio. It looks like uh, Kefka the Quiet trying to get in there. Uh, on this, yeah, we got oh, six guys here. In six a, man lockup with seven guys in the ring. <laughs> Space Monkey not liking that. No, sending him right off, trying to get in there though. Oh, come on. He's pouting now. Nobody wants to wrestle with Kefka the Quiet. Oh, Von Vertigo to the outside. Space Monkey going after him. And here's a matchup everybody wants to see. The current champ, Carter Mason, against the gift, Jason Kincaid. This weirdo lives out in a swamp in the woods in Southern Bayou. He's a total nutbag, this guy. Can send in the corner. Mason, a little too smart, though. Look at him. He's like some kind of weird witch or prophet. He's, uh, this guy scares me. I don't know. I've seen some crazy stuff out of this guy, K Kincaid. Oh, Mason going right for it, gets caught. Oh, oh man. beautiful. Wow, nice. That's <laughs> and unbelievable. spring over into a double stomp, and looks like Freddie Mercurio's taking, taking care of this on the outside as well. He's doing nothing, he's sitting there with the fans. That's why I don't like about Freddie Mercurio. Just, he's a fan favorite, and that's all he cares about. You don't like anybody that's popular around here. You don't like anybody that has a mind of their own either. No. Freddie Mercurio, when an intelligent man likes to do his own thing. This guy, he's a weirdo. Oh, wow, two weirdos in the ring, but a jumping bulldog and the malevolent mime, very pleased with himself. Oh! Running sent on there, and the gift is feeling it. Gift rolling to the outside now. Here's your buddy, Von Vertigo. Big drop kick right to the quadricep, and a basement drop kick to the side of the head. Mason's still it on the floor. Nice moonsault there. Could have a new champ right off the bat, but no. Space Monkey going up top. I love this Space Monkey guy. I don't much. We like what, what's not to love Space about him. Space Monkey great. is my least favorite wrestler in all of Ontario. Well, he certainly, whoa, certainly got Von Vertigo's number there. This guy, what is he doing? Is he eating a banana? Space Monkey's embarrassed me for a whole year in Ontario. You know, with how much he jumps around the ring and swings with the rafters and stuff, he needs to keep his energy up, Jay. That's why he's eating. Oh, wow, Carter Mason. Taking it, uh, Moss is taking it to the champ on the outside. Wow, what a great match we have here at Lee's Palace. Lucha T.O., baby. Wow, spinning over there. Right to the mush, drop kick. And he's still got the banana in his mouth. <laughs> Vertigo hurt out on the floor, on the canvas. Everybody having a real good time here. I'm sure Carter Mason's not too pleased though, having to put his title up against six other guys. And in this environment too, it is dangerous here at Lee's Palace. There's metal, there's wood everywhere. Whoa! And banana peels in the ring too, if you're not careful. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't understand why the fans laugh at that. It's so stupid. Well, you know what? Like I was saying, if somebody flies over the top rope and breaks their leg on one of the wooden railings here, the fans won't be laughing too much. Yeah, there. exactly. This is that dangerous environment. It was seven guys running around back and forth, arms flailing all over the place. Like, look at this. <laughs> Speaking of running around, oh, here you are catching them. Yeah, there we go. Drop kick and monkey back into the corner. And the Curio bringing the house up here at Lee's Palace. Well, I don't think it's too hard to confuse a monkey, but the Curio certainly has the fans behind him here oh. at Lee's Palace. We will rock you, as they say. The Curio going up to the second. Monkey in trouble, gets caught. Spike in the DDT and off the second turnbuckle too with that extra torque. Come on, get him. Oh no. Oh no, Monkey. I would have gone for a pin there. Monkey but... rolling right over the ring. He knows he's in big trouble. Wow, 540 spin kick right to the back of the head. Mercurio's down. And the comes... Funky Pharaoh. Wow, this is a match I want to see. Amasis. Oh, big knee right to the to the mush. Amasis against Carter Mason. Oh, beautiful. Our extremely impressive premier champion here at Lucha in the six. Goes to the cover. Slow count on the part of this referee, I'll tell you that. Like, 
Mason always gets the job done in quick time. Here we go, Mason doing it right, putting his weight down on that cover and now working the neck and shoulder area, which is what I would do. Amasis is the biggest guy in this match by far. This guy is jacked. Uh oh, Mason getting caught though. What is this? Got very impressed with himself. Von Vertigo in the ring. Oh wow, what do we got going on here? We got a chain. We got a sequence happening. Mercurio, I don't know if he's gonna join in on this. He's probably gonna take control here. Take control? I don't think he knows how to even apply the move. All he's into is listening he's to gonna do it too. Queen Records. <laughs> and here comes KK. I don't know if there's any room for him to get on there. No. Nope. Put a figure four on him or something, come on. There here we comes go. comes Kincaid, whoa, grabbing him. Look at this. Whoa. Turning it around, Hush. Got Caterpillar style busting crap. He's locked the hands there too. And he's got it cinched <laughs> in, and everybody's tapping. Everybody's got their faces being ground into the mat. Nobody seems to appreciate this. Here comes Space Monkey, though. What? Is he checking him for bugs or something? <laughs> you know, if anybody in the ring is gonna have bugs living in his beard, it's gonna be Jason Kincaid, believe me. Gonna get a good meal out of that. Well, is anybody submitting out of this oh! box of crab? Is the referee not doing anything here? A tail slap to the face, very disrespectful. Jason Kincaid might live out in the middle of nowhere like a freaking weird witch, but he certainly does not like being disrespected like that, let me tell you. And everybody crawling out of the ring. What's going on here? Mercurio. Catch his space monkey. Forearm shivering. Oh! Looks like he used his extremely powerful vocal cords to take out his opponent there. Very high pitched. Mercurio getting the crowd behind him. What's he got in store here, Hodge? Everybody, big brawl on the outside here in the crowd. We better be careful if you're here at Lee's Palace, folks. Mercurio going up! That's a long way to jump, Jay. Well, you can't be going to the outside like this. Not at least Palace! Oh. Everybody taken down! Space when he got his arm crushed there. Well, look, he's feeling that one. Everybody feeling it. The premier champ out, Amos is out, and the only one standing tall is Freddie Mercurio. I bet you this guy has a ton of really cool monikers and nicknames. You should go onto Wikipedia or his Facebook page and figure out what's going on. He's like the queen of the ring or something like that. I'll tell you one person that's not happy with him, Dan the B7, for ripping off his mustache and his look. And you know what? That's a good point. He's, got, he's definitely, this is the uh, this is the brainchild or the, the amalgamation yes. of Freddie Mercury and Dan Severn. Yes. Although he's not using very many submission moves, Severn would uh, tie in knots. Wow. I don't know if you'd ever see Severn doing that too. No water in the pool, as Mauro Ronaldo would say. Missing the big moose out there and Mercurio. He looks totally windy in the corner. Now. Mason back up to his feet, gets caught though. And here comes Kefka the Quiet. Oh. Wow. Jumping stunner. Just spiked him right off his shoulder there. What's going on here? This guy is one of the weirdest guys in pro wrestling today. I gotta tell you. The malevolent mind, Kefka the Quiet. Wow. Just tagged Mason in the corner. Is it? Mason getting dragged into the center of the ring. Oh, he's lassoed him. He's mime lassoed him using his powers. And Carter Mason's in real trouble, you're right. Mason trying to get out of it. Oh, spikes the flatliner. Oh, no, no, no. And Kefka the Quiet could be the new premier champion here. Can you imagine that? Well, Kincaid, this is the guy I'd be watching out for. This oh. guy is completely insane. Wow. Oh, look at that. Right across the mush. Tied up into the ropes here. Who do you see does that? Delivers slinks out through the middle ropes after a clothesline. Oh! Springboard somersault stunner and Kefka the Quiet. Beautifully done. done. An innovator in this business. I don't think we're gonna see him anymore in this Space match. monkey up on the top. Oh, somersault right to the face. Kincaid. He doesn't know where he is. Here comes Von Vertigo. Yeah, this is your buddy here. Come on, he grabbed his tail, ref. Oh, Falcon Arrow, center of the ring. Could have a new champ right here. Wow, that was close. Kind of a modified dragon, dragon sleeper. sleeper. It's much more of a choke. Come on, ref, I get on that. Here's Mason. Is he checking? He's checking for bugs now, too? Oh, no. Throw wow, Vertigo right out to the concrete floor, right up against the railing, exactly. you're saying. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Vertigo's back smashed right against that wooden railing, and this entire environment. Oh, wow. look at Mason with that beautiful drop kick into the corner on Mercurio. Well, it's nice to see that these guys have kept the majority of the action in the ring. Mason going all around the ring with drop kicks. I love it. Well, there's a reason why. Wow, look, 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 look out of it. There's a reason why Carter Mason is the premier champ and the longest reigning premier champ in history. Whoa, Vertigo here. No, 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 no Mason, get out of it. Wow, sneaky little guy. Vertigo off the ropes. 
Missing the kick. Oh. Mason didn't miss it though. Mason off the ropes. No. Damn. Gets caught by Vertigo's boot. Here comes Vertigo. And again, back and forth, these two guys. Absolutely insane. Von Vertigo's got one hell of a future ahead of him. Oh, but, oh, not oh. much of a future in this match, though. It's got to be over here. Oh, Amasis. Unbelievable. Super kick to the side of the head. And it looks like he's going to, to he's going to capitalize on this right here. Pulling Vertigo center of the ring. or over to the corner of the ring, going upstairs. Could this be a Hutch? Oh, 540 knees right to the chest. But it's over. No, 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 no. You got to be kidding me. What about Carter Mason? The longest rating. I can't believe it. Mason's not the champion anymore. Oh, funky Pharaoh Moss is taking advantage of the hard work of Carter Mason after that tombstone. Taking advantage and he's the new premier champion. Well, I can guarantee you one thing, Mason is going to be pissed. He's going to be gunning for that title. He wants that title back. Uh, you know what? I don't blame him. He's had that title for a long time, and he didn't even get pinned to lose it, so no. I'm sure that's going to be an issue for him here. Absolutely. There he is. He's, he's obviously there. He's very upset. <laughs> but it's too late, buddy. Amatis is your new premier champ, and the crowd here at Lee's Palace, they love it. There we go. Make it official. Hand of the title. New champ here at Lucha in the six. Mason can't believe it. He cannot believe it. He's in shock. Heck of a lot of competition in this match too. The Gift, Jason Kincaid, Freddie Mercurio, Space Monkey, all men that could have easily taken this draft. Von Vertigo, like I said, a hell of a future ahead of him. And Von Vertigo losing it. Uh, oh, he probably had the title more. for Mason. Yeah, that's true. Mason's probably got a bone to pick with him too. But Absolutely. you know what? That Vertigo kid had more pinfall covers than anybody else in the match. He was looking for it. You know what I'm looking forward to? It's some more action from Lee's Palace here with Lucha in the six. Hard fought victory here for the Funky Pharaoh. It looks like he's got something to say to the audience. You guys are awesome! St. Clown Posse, I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, if you're going to be wearing a mask anywhere, Lucha in the Six is the place, but these guys are These guys are getting in the ring. Yes, I don't think they have been invited. Amasis is inviting him in now, though. He's saying, come on, oh, bring it. I can't believe this. Stiff shot from the champ. That guy's down. Oh. <laughs> if you're not a trade professional, there's a man coming in. We're going to get in here by the crowd. Somebody has decided to, that's for sure. And Amasis, our new champ, after a seven-way deadly scramble, whoever this huge man is. He's in serious trouble. These guys know what they're doing. Send them up. Look at this, Hutch. Oh, man. Is this who I think it is? That's well, you know who uses that move? Yes, I know who that is in that move. I can't believe it if he's here. Looking for a mic. Get him a mic. I got to know him. Size of this guy wouldn't surprise me. Hutch, I'm getting nervous here to be honest with you. Moss is totally taken I out here. Hate masks. <laughs> it's John Green, just like I thought. What's going on here? I this guy. Hate Lucha Tio. John Green, just hear him out, hear him out. We haven't seen him in a when long this time. this started, I was supposed to be the face. And then I was forgotten. But now this guy, this jerk off a mask, he's your goddamn champion. And I gotta come in here and for all you people, shut the fuck up and punch me. Yes! Yes! God bless John Green. You wanna, you wanna be the face of the company with language? Yes! Yes! John Green's the greatest wrestler in the world. 
They say, yeah, you want to you want to make fun of me here? He is a face. Down on the champs. Give him the belt. So Lucian T.O. doesn't want to book me, but I'm just gonna show up. January 29th, Variety Village. All those little fucking chilies. It's me. It's my boys. Lucian T.O. Bring whatever the fuck you want, because John Reed is in the goddamn building. Come on, with language like that, <laughs> Variety Village is a charity show. There's going to be kids there, so I'm sure going to be there at the Variety Village because of John Green. Thank you, Lucha T.O. Wow. Wow. Thank you, John Green. There's the Death Proof Champ Warhead coming out to help him off this, I'd like to hope. Hopefully he's not on the same side as John Green. Well, wow, Green inviting him in. No, no, he's here to help out. This guy is loyal, Lucha T.O. all the way. Lucha proof, death proof. Oh, Green getting out of there. And January 29th, Variety Village for part of all that Lucha. Looks like John Green is gonna be there. Yes. That's why Noah Masas, he's gonna take that challenge. No problem, we're probably gonna have a premier title match at Variety Village, make sure you're there. And thank God for Warhead. I'm going to see John Green at Variety Village. Please. All right, check in for tickets online, folks, and we'll see you January 29th at Var Variety Village.